This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is inventory management. So the topics that we are going to cover there. We will see what is inventory management. Functions of the inventory management. What are the functions? What are the activities available in inventory management? Then we will see single screen transaction for goods movement. What is the transaction used uh, in S4 HANA for goods movement? Then how to navigate in this transaction, single screen transaction. Then we will see a simple post good receipt with respect to a document. Then account movements during posting and FX of goods movement. So these are the ones we will cover in the inventory management overview. Okay. So basically, inventory management is part of the materials management module and is fully integrated in the entire logistics system. That's what I told. It is one of the sub module of MM, inventory management. And it is not only in MM, it is fully integrated with the entire supply chain, entire logistics system, starting from purchase to the sales. Okay. Inventory management it deals with the management of stock either on value or quantity basis. So basically inventory management is nothing but managing your stocks, your inventory, managing your inventory, receiving the inventory, issuing the inventory, issuing the stocks, transferring the stocks. So all these things is part of inventory management. Planning, entry and keeping records of all goods movements comes under inventory management. So you plan your goods, you plan your goods movements, whether receiving, issuing, okay, whether transferring and making those goods movement and keeping a record of all those goods movement, everything will come under inventory management. Okay. Material is procured from external or internal sources on the basis of the requirements determined by MRP. This we covered in the previous session. So whatever whether you want to pro procure the material from external sources or you want to produce it internally that is determined by MRP. This already we covered in the previous classes. Okay. So now the material is stored until it is delivered to customers or is used for internal purposes. Okay. So normally let's say you have a material. If it is a, if it is a finished product, let's say. So till the time it is delivered to customers, it is stored in the warehouse. Okay, so you need to take care of that. And also, let's say you have a material, raw material. Okay, let's say you it is used for consumption of the production. Till the time it is consumed, you have to store it and you have to take care of its inventory. So all these are part of your inventory management. Okay, so this is the one. So we covered MRP in the previous session. So once the MRP is executed. As we discussed, for externally procured materials, it will generate PR. And for the internally produced materials, it will generate planned order. Okay. So now, from here onwards, your inventory management will start. So they will convert PR to PO. And then once the vendor supplies the material, you receive it. Then your inventory management will start. You receive the goods. Okay. And also same thing in the in the in the production. Uh, it will generate a planned order. They will convert the planned order to production order. And then your inventory management will start. When, once they complete the production, they will do the good receipt. Okay. And after that, once the products are produced, then this, for the sales, they will issue the, deliver the product to the customers. Again, here the inventory management will come into picture. Okay. And also the, the received materials are consumed in the production. There the inventory management comes into picture. So basically the inventory management is fully integrated with the entire supply chain starting from your purchasing to sales. Okay, so entire, entire cycle basically. Okay, so basically as we discussed, so in the material management, we, we discussed the purchasing, purchasing. Okay, so after the purchasing, your inventory management, we are discussing now the inventory management. So the main task in the inventory management is first is managing your tasks, material stuff, either on quantity basis or on value basis. You are managing your material stocks. What is your current inventory? 
receiving the stocks, issuing the stocks, transferring the stocks, okay, from one plant to another plant or one storage location to another storage location, all these things. And then documentation of material movements, whatever the movements you do, okay, you, you will document them using inventory management. That is another task. Another, another task is physical inventory. This we will cover in a separate topic. Physical inventory means matching your system stock, your system stock with your physical stock. Periodically, they will do this. This we will be covering in a separate session. Physical inventory is a separate topic. That time we will cover. Okay. So basically, inventory, inventory management functionality function will take care of these three tasks. Basically. Managing your stocks, documenting your all the move, goods movements, and the physical element. Okay, so first we'll start with the goods movements. So basically, what is a goods movement? In general, a transaction that causes a stock change is marked as goods movement in the SAP system. So let's say you 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 make a transaction that result in stock change, stock increase or stock decrease. Okay, that that is called as goods movement in the SAP. Okay, so let's say you receive the material, then stock quantity will increase. Let's say you issue the stock. Okay, then the stock will get reduced. So all these are called as goods movement. Okay, so goods movements include both external movements and also ex internal movements. There are two things: external movements or internal. External means such as good receipt from external procurement when you receive the material from a supply vendor or normal purchasing in the purchasing uh, function you issue a po to the supplier supplier will supply the material you receive it so that is external movement basically you are receiving the material from a third party vendor external vendor or goods issues for sales orders so you sell a product to the customer okay so then you do the goods issue for the customer you deliver your product to the customer that is external means whereas internal means internal means good receipts from production so you receive the material uh, production people once they manufacture the product they will transfer the product to the warehouse that is in, within the company internal and material withdrawal this is for internal purposes that means warehouse team will issue the raw materials required for production so that is internal within the internal company okay then stock transfers Okay, you transfer the stock from one plant to another plant, one location to another location that is within the company internal. And also transfer posting. This we will discuss. What is transfer posting? How it is different from stock transfers? We will discuss. So basically, what you need to understand here is goods movement can be external or internal. Internal. Okay. Anyhow, we will discuss all these things in this in the subsequent classes when we go to good received goods issue stock transfers that time we will discuss all these things external and internal in detail okay documents that are created for the goods movements and are the basis for the quantity and value update and also serve as the verification for the goods movement. so whenever you do any goods movement in the system it will generate documents so with using these documents you will verify all the goods movement basically whether the quantity properly got updated, whether the values got updated properly, all those things you will check, you will verify using these documents. Okay. So basically, this is what we just discussed. We have internal goods movement and external. Suppose if you see external, a supplier supplies a material to you, you receive it and put it in your plant. In your plant. So this is external, basically. And let's say from in another plant. In another plant you deliver the product to the customer okay you sell a product to the customer so this is external these are external goods movements okay whereas internal means let's say production team produced a product product and they put it in the system so that is internal within the company and let's say you do some stock transfer from one plant to another plant you do some stock transfer this is internal goods movement 
okay or let's say you issue some raw materials to the production department so this is internal internal goods movements so you can uh, either you the stock transfer can be from one plant to another plant okay or it can be it can be within the same plant from one storage location to another storage location so all these are internal goods movements okay so now types of goods movements so basically